you can select yeah, what you want to print, but your files have to be in PDF. Okay, because this guy's shame, he's got lots of things, but doesn't have Windows, Windows. Microsoft, things like this. So, you can so it has to be on PDF or JPEG. Then you can print from the screen. Because I was about to ask you yeah, that's mainly also if you want to set up your email, remember? Yes. Yeah. yes. And if you want to set up your like your contact list. Yeah. So once you once you connect it to the Wi-Fi, right? You'll be able to send files from here to to like maybe your computer or to, to someone's email address. Okay. Understand? So it's an so option. You'll be able to say, for example, scan an email to whoever. Right. So, so scan to email is something that I'll have to come back and set up for you. We'll okay. see. You see, but if you have the Wi Fi. No. But then it's fine. Next I know it's fine because I know what you guys are going to do. You're going to do us a favor and so far. So you're going to go to all the schools here. And you're going to tell them about this here. And then they're going to place orders. <laughs> So you set up your email here, your, your, your contact list, and you can send the, the, the mail out. Once it's on your address book, the, the printer recognizes it and then it will send, send it out. So another option, instead of always having it on paper, you can go paperless with this guy. You send the files to your students and you leave them on the laptops. You know what I mean? Clever, huh? but it will, it will be uh, a toll on this machine because the kilowatt is 1.5k. On, uh, on, uh, on the storage. So the storage. The database is going to slow down. Yeah. Considering the number of students. Mm. So but if you're just scanning it, if you're just scanning it, like let's say you scan it, it goes through your automatic document feeder, it comes and sits there, then you have that file, right? Yeah. And then you say email to. It's not going to save on that. Right. 